everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer and I'm going to show you how to set up the stand to the DeWalt table saw that I have behind me. The saw stand is officially DWE74911. Make sure you check your booklet. This does not go with every table saw that DeWalt sells. It specifies which ones it does go to within the first couple pages of your manual so make sure you check that. So the first step that you want to do, you want to take all the pieces out and kind of lay them so you can see them all. And the first step is to assemble the stand. You have a right and a left portion. And the, uh, actually I'm going to undo. I'm going to go ahead and stand this up. So that I can see what I'm working with. So there's the left half. And the other right half. Okay, so the first step is to take the right and the left portion and very easy, you just slide the tubes together. Okay, and you can kind of see where they end, where they're supposed to go. And once they are in that position, you're going to find the baggie that says uh, tool and frame. And inside of that, there's like a little uh, crescent wrench, an Allen wrench. You're also going to need a half inch socket with a ratchet. I actually have um, the longer half inch. And I've got a shorter one, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna need. So I've got them both handy. And within that baggie that the tools come in, there are two bolts. And they go in. I'm gonna flip this over so that I can see. that started. There's one. Okay, and then I'm going to finish it off the rest of the way with the Allen wrench. I'm not going to over hork it. Um, it's about good. Just until it's snug, don't over tighten it. Okay, that feels good. Okay, so then once you have that assembled, the next step is to put the axle on with the wheels. And they're gonna go, um, this is gonna be the front of the saw, so the um, axle and the wheels are gonna go on the left hand side. So you're gonna want to find the piece, it's a rod like that, and it's gonna go like this. So locate the little baggie. It's actually really cold in my pool barn, but I can't work with these gloves. I have to lose them. Okay, so find the baggie that says um, wheel and shaft, and there's your hardware that you're gonna need for this next step. Okay, so look for the two bolts. They have like a, just a nice finished, um, there's like a pan head on one side. They're very long. They look to be about three inches. Okay, so. Um, also, you'll notice um, on the underside of that head, there's a square, and you're going to line that up with a square on the outside of this axle. Okay, line that up. Line that up, and they're going to go in... Um, Actually, I'm going to swing this so you can see what I'm doing now. Right. Okay, so this would 
entire rod. I think it's built to go, it doesn't matter which way is up and which way is down, but it goes into these, this last set of holes right here. And then there are a whole bunch of, um, these nuts are, these nuts are all the same size and they just attach. All of the nuts on this stand are gonna attach from the inside. This one here on the left, the way this is designed, there's actually like a piece of metal right here and it's a little bit difficult. My hands are small, so somebody with bigger hands is gonna have a little bit of a tough time um, getting that one on the left because there's a piece of metal in there. Um, okay, here's the one going on the right. And I'm just gonna tighten these with my finger until I can't anymore and then I'll, I'll tighten them up. Um, I think it's very important, you don't wanna keep that, that square on the underside of that pan head from spinning around, so I'm gonna have to apply pressure the whole time I'm tightening this. And I'm actually gonna use my socket for this. It'll make it go a lot faster and it's cold out here. I wanna get this job done. That one's a booger to get into. I can't even get this. All right, I can't even get to that with a ratchet. Well, let me try from this way. No, from no way, you can't get to it. Okay, so once you've got that part, um, next is the wheels. Um, so you want that side out. Just flip those on the axle. It's January in Ohio, and this pole barn is not heated, so it's pretty cold out here. I had my gloves on, but I can't do anything with those gloves, so I had to take them off. So, what you want to do for this part then, you've got your wheels heated, you put the washer and the nut. Now you just want to tighten these wheels and that feels good. I don't want to over tighten it. Okay, and that feels good. All right, so that's that part. Next part is the assembly. There's um, a little kickstand that goes with this. Um, you're going to use the holes right above it to put that attachment on. Okay, so for this part, you're gonna really look for a piece that looks like that, and it's gonna go like this, it's gonna face out, so that when it is tilted, it's gonna catch and support the saw on the ground. So you're gonna need that piece. Look in the box. Um, also for these two plastic pieces, they insert in the bottom of this and you're going to line up there are interior um, holes so you're going to have to line up so that you can see all the way through same thing on that side and you're going to look for the baggie that says kickstand because this is the kickstand oh. okay so there are four bolts in here and two, four, it looks like a hexagon kind of like pan head. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and drop them in at this point. You can do it however you think is easiest. Kickstand, the aligner all up. And again, the nuts of this saw all assemble on the inside. Okay, there's one. I'm going to do the two top ones 
kind of keep it stabilized. Now, I had a, a father who loved being in his garage, but he never, um, I had two sisters, so I didn't grow up knowing how to do any of this stuff. This all came after my husband, who was a maintenance man, passed away. Unfortunately, um, I, had, I was clueless. I had to figure things out. So my advice, um, dads, if you're watching, take your daughters out with you into the garage. Show them the basics. Um, that way they can be independent women. Moms, I'm a single mom. I teach my son. Um, everybody should know how to use tools, period. Um, there's going to be, I think, a shortage from all reports of the trades. So um, this is something that everybody needs to know. It's not just boys anymore. Girls need to know how to do this stuff too. I'm having trouble threading. Okay, there she goes. All right, two more. You know what? I have small hands. I'm having a little bit difficult now. Maybe it's because I'm cold and it's freezing out here and all the metal is cold too. But I'm having a hard time getting things to want to cooperate. There it goes. Okay, so there's that. Some of these areas are a little bit tricky to get into. Okay, and there's that. So I'm just going to go ahead and tighten. Oh, I'm going to need to hold the other side. I forgot this was um, a hex. Okay, that feels nice and tight. Feels really sturdy. Everything looks to be connected very, very well. Okay, then the next step is to attach the handle, which is going to go on this side. So again, this is the front. Okay, so here's the handle. Um, you're going to need also, there are two plastic pieces that go with the handle. And then you're gonna look for the baggie that says, you guessed it, handle. Okay, it looks like the way they designed this, it can actually go in two different positions. It can go, see there's like a series of three holes on each side. So you can do um, like the extended side or, or extended size, or if you like, maybe you have a van that you're packing all of your equipment in and you don't have the room to have something protruding, you can actually do it like in the compact position like that. So anyway, however you choose when it's assembled, the handle should go facing up like that. If you're ever confused, just kind of look at the package and look at the picture on the box if you don't understand the directions or if you don't understand my directions. Okay, so here's the hardware that goes with that. Okay, so the pieces, um, these plastic pieces have the two bolts that have the hexagon head and just insert them when they're in the proper position, they'll be seated all the way down in there. And I'm gonna choose, I want this to have uh, the, the bigger setting, the longer setting. So I'm gonna do my one side. Okay, same thing with the other half. Line all the holes up. Slide the bolts through. Okay, last step, 
put the saw on top. Booger. This saw, this whole assembly, when I got this box and I looked at the weight, it all weighed, like, I like weigh three pounds more than this whole thing. So it's pretty darn solid. All right, so I'm gonna wanna put this on here so that the holes line up. The DeWalt logo should face forward. And how am I over here? Oh, that's a beauty. Okay, I'm lined up. So the last baggie says saw. Whew. So find that and I'll show you what the hardware looks like. Okay, these are like pan head bolts that have a, it looks like there's a hexagon in the middle. So I'm just going to insert the pins. Okay, so once you have all of the bolts inserted, then, and all of the nuts are finger tightened, then go ahead and crank it down. Oh, forgot, I had a hex head. You're gonna need an Allen wrench to hold the other side of that bolt steady while you tighten from the top. This is one of those deals where I can't really get a good swing with the socket. So I'm gonna use the socket to hold that side and tighten it actually from below with the Allen wrench. And I think I'm about there. Yeah. Yeah, that feels good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach through. I don't know if you can see that from the front. But I'm gonna hit that last bolt. All right. Okay, that feels pretty tight. Okay. So. Um, if you would please leave a comment for me if you have anything you'd like to say about this video or if maybe you have a suggestion for future videos of things you'd like to see me do. And so that's it. It's wrapped up. It's nice and sturdy. I'm going to be happy with it. And so, um, you know, if you're lucky enough to have one of these DeWalt saws like I do, well, you're just lucky enough. So thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care.